some people got more than they bargained for recently while standing in line at the Social Security office on Buffalo Drive. A group of preachers used the sidewalk as their pulpit, so to speak, and what they claim is the word of the Lord. Their idea of it, they chose some pretty hot button topics to preach about, including sex outside of marriage and homosexuality. One woman disagreed with what the preachers were saying and shared her experience with Action News. Basically, he was talking about different kinds of sex. He was talking about um, homosexuals, um, premarital sex. Anybody that's had premarital sex is going to burn in the lake of fire. I didn't like some of the things they were talking about. Um, there were small children in the line. I think this was a Masa Saidi story yesterday, and, and there was screaming stuff like repent and telling people they were sinners. I mean, it was pretty intense. Mm -hmm. Now, we can't confirm that these self-proclaimed preachers are from the same church, and the men wouldn't tell us their names or their church's name, even after being asked several times. Mm -hmm. Now, despite public outrage toward these sidewalk sermons, police say there's nothing they can do because of their First Amendment right to free speech. And they were on the sidewalk, which, you know, they were on our private property. Yes, so, yes. what do you think, Lady G? Should you know about these types of sermons. I think when it comes to religion, you always have to remember that love is a key. No matter who it is that you believe in or what you believe in, love is always the key. So I think whatever you want to preach, you have to remember you have to come in love so you don't offend people or different walks of life or so whatever it is. So. Yeah. yeah, you could do whatever you want, but I don't really want to hear it. Right. Yeah. You know, or, or I'm not expecting it when I'm standing in line going to do something. Yeah. And if it's super loud, you do have a right. You can call the police, yeah. but most likely they're not going to do anything because, uh, again, they have the First Amendment right to free speech but if you do call and they're costing you that's a whole different story then you can call the police stick around and do a report but otherwise they have a right to do that you just have to pick ignore a them pick yeah. a better place too because if i'm at the social around? security line or dmv i'm probably already upset anyway because yeah, exactly. i have to be there it's just rude yeah exactly. catch me you know at h&m on the sale day <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> then we can talk yeah, well, and 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 I, I was, I'm of two minds of this because isn't this how most churches get started? You know, you've got people walking up and down the street trying to, you know, give their word of God, of how, yeah. how they see it, and then they try to get like-minded people to, to get follow together. Them and, yeah. yeah. So how are you going to ever meet them if they don't get a public forum to speak? I think you should just rent a space and then have your friends come and and and. Just like a lot of startups, they start in a little shopping complex. Yeah, yeah. that's you true. Know, but a lot of people, they just do it on the street because it's an easy target. And we're in a new age, too. Social media is around. You know, uh, people will follow what they want to follow. If you put it out there on social media, your Facebook, your Instagram, come visit us. You know, at this location, at this time, people, people will, will come. come. Build that's it true. and they will come. They yes. Will come. <laughs> what do you post it and they will come. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think? Share your thoughts. Speaking of posting, share your thoughts on our VV Live Facebook page or hop on Twitter or Instagram. As always, our handle is at Valley View Live and use the hashtag VV Live. We'll be right back.